Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from isitautomation.com and welcome to my course Spring Boot for Automation Testing. And in this course, we'll be talking about how we can make use of Spring Boot for UI automation testing tools like Playwright and Selenium and microservice testing with integrated fashion and API testing with REST Assured. So what is Spring Boot and how is it useful for automation testing? Well, Spring Boot is an open source framework built on the top of Spring Framework designed to simplify the development of production-ready Java application. And Spring Boot provides pre-configured setup so you don't really need to write an extensive boilerplate course. And that is the real power of Spring Boot itself. And in this entire course, we'll be talking more about the Spring Boot's features, something like these, and how we can use these features for our testing by making our testing more and more easier with the automation testing tools like Selenium and Playwright and how we can run them in parallel execution, microservices testing, contract testing, and using it with test containers and stuff. We'll also be seeing how we can fuse the Spring Boot with Selenium and Playwright by writing a better automation testing code by harnessing the power of Spring Boot like dependency injection, writing less boilerplate code, maintaining the web driver lifecycle with the power of Spring Boot, maintaining the separation of concern, test configuration, profile, and parallel execution. And those are the things that we'll be doing in this entire course. Well, as I said, let's quickly see how this course is fully structured. Well, this course, as you can see, will start with the basics of Spring Boot. So we will be covering the basics of Spring Boot, like what is dependency injection, what is Spring Bean, and how to work with the constructor dependency injection, field level dependency injection, and how we can make use of Java-based configuration and annotation-based configuration profiles, value injections, and stuff. And all this power in place, we'll also be configuring our Selenium code with the Spring Boot framework. We'll be using the same exact concept with the Playwright testing tool so that we can harness the power of Spring Boot with Playwright automation testing tool. We'll then leverage how we can make use of the Spring Boot for parallel execution and also using Selenium with Cucumber with Spring Boot. We'll then be executing the entire test in the CI CD pipeline and we'll see how we can make use of the Spring Boot along with Selenium to perform a continuous integration and continuous delivery of our testing. Finally, in this course, we'll also be creating our own microservice-based application, which can then be used for testing the microservices with Spring Boot. So this way, you can not only just learn how to test a microservices-based application of Spring Boot, but also developing an application or how the application development really happens. So this is going to be giving you a glimpse of how you can make use of microservice development yourself. I mean, this is an optional section, but you can learn quite a lot of these things over here. So these are things that we are gonna be covering in this course, and I'm quite excited for you, like how you are going to be learning this entire course and applying the testing concept at your work. Before we jump into our first section of our course, let's first understand some of the features that Spring Boot offers, which we can use within our testing. Well, you can see that we can make use of Spring Boot for faster API development. It also helps us performing faster API testing via integration testing and unit testing. And this is really cool because we can make use of the Spring Boot for testing APIs via integrated testing by running the application in memory. And Spring Boot also offers dependency injections, which can be used in Selenium and Playwright to make the driver object management much more easier. And also Spring Boot has got integrated testing framework support like JUnit, and also we can extend it with TestNG much, much easier. And because Spring Boot handles the thread management much easier, we can easily create parallel execution testing in our Spring Boot testing with Selenium. We can also create the microservices and also do the distributed system testing much, much easier, which we'll be covering in this course. So it is very, very fabulous. We can also do contract testing and running the test with test containers for Docker deployment in continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline. So these are the features that Spring Boot offers, which we can use within our testing. Well, as I said, I'm gonna quickly show you a classical Selenium test code, and I'm also gonna show you and how the same code will change once we migrate it to Spring Boot code. As you can see over here, this is one of the code which is written in Selenium Java without using any Spring Boot. It has got the web drivers, which is gonna launch the Chrome driver. And we navigate to the website using this. And then we also have got quite a lot of pages. And again, we have homepage, 
login page, employee list page, create employee page, uh, and these pages are gonna be something which is really, really helpful for performing the application under test operation for us. And you can see that immediately in this code, we have created so many different objects. The first object is for the Chrome driver. We also created an object for the home page. And within this methods, as you can see over here, we have created the instance of the login page, similarly employee list page, and also for the create employee page. So these things are created because we really need to pass the driver object across and this can in turn trigger the page factory dot init element method which can initialize the driver and also the page elements for us and that's the reason why we have to keep creating the object in the entire test code over here which is really a pain while you start writing more and more code in automation testing every single day so how to overcome this problem welcome to dependency injection with the dependency injection or inversion of control, we can take control of these driver object creation ceremonies out from the test code and create it elsewhere so that the injection happens directly in the code. So now that you have seen this code over here, what if I try to convert this to Spring Boot code? There we go. As you can see, this is the code which does exactly the same operation you are seeing over here in this particular code. So you can see that the driver instance creation and the home page object creations are all gone out from this particular test code because all of these are taken care by the Spring Boot framework. And not only that, all the different boilerplate codes that we have written are gone away because of the dependency injection. And that's the reason why we call this a separation of concern because now you can just focus on the testing part rather creating every single object for every single page and the web drivers so this is the power of spring boot framework to use within automation testing we can do the exact same kind of code not only for the selenium but also for playwright because this code as you are seeing over here is for the playwright testing and the operation that you do are going to be pretty much exactly the same way so we'll be discussing every single thing in this particular course starting our first section of this course where we'll be talking about the basics of Spring Boot. So you'll be understanding the entire basics of Spring Boot in this particular course first, and then followed by that, we'll be starting to fuse the understanding of Spring Boot in Selenium as well as in Playwright automation testing tool. Thank you.